Trastuzumab is a monoclonal anti-human epidermal growth factor receptor, 2-protein antibody used to treat her 2-positive breast, gastroesophageal, and gastric cancers. In this video, let's find found. What is Trastuzumab? What class of drug is Trastuzumab? What is Trastuzumab used to treat? Who cannot use Trastuzumab? What are the side effects of taking Trastuzumab? How does Trastuzumab make you feel? How to use Trastuzumab? What is Trastuzumab? What class of drug is Trastuzumab? Trastuzumab, sold under the brand name Herceptin among others, is a monoclonal antibody used to treat breast cancer and stomach cancer. It is specifically used for cancer that is HER2 receptor positive. It may be used by itself or together with other chemotherapy medication. Trastuzumab is given by slow injection into a vein and injection just under the skin. Trastuzumab was approved for medical use in the United States in September 1998 and in the European Union in August 2000. It is on the World Health Organization's list of essential medicines. A biosimilar was approved in the European Union in November 2017 and in the United States in December 2018. What is Trastuzumab used to treat? For the adjuvant treatment of HER2 overexpressing breast cancer, Trastuzumab is indicated in several clinical settings, as part of a treatment regimen consisting of doxorubicin, cyclophosphamide, and either paclitaxel or dostaxel, as part of a treatment regimen with dostaxel and carboplatin, or as monotherapy following multimodality anthracycline-based therapy. Trastuzumab is indicated as a first-line treatment, in combination with paclitaxel, for metastatic HER2 overexpressing breast cancer, and as monotherapy in patients who have previously received one or more chemotherapy regimens in the metastatic setting. Trastuzumab is also indicated, in combination with cisplatin and capecitabine or 5-fluorouracil, for the treatment of patients with HER2 overexpressing metastatic gastric or gastroesophageal junction adenocarcinoma who have not received prior treatment for metastatic disease. Trastuzumab is indicated for subcutaneous administration in combination with either hyaluronidase or both hyaluronidase and pertuzumab for the treatment of adults with HER2 positive breast cancers. Who cannot use trastuzumab? Contraindications for trastuzumab treatment include a history of hypersensitivity to trastuzumab treatment or murine proteins, severe dyspnea at rest resulting from complications of advanced malignancy and requiring supplemental oxygen therapy. What are the side effects of taking trastuzumab? The most common side effects seen in treatment of metastatic breast cancer, based on intravenous trastuzumab, are fever, chills, headache, infection, congestive heart failure, insomnia, cough, and rash. Pharmacodynamics Trastuzumab exerts an antitumor activity and is used in the treatment of HER2 positive breast cancer. HER2 protein overexpression is observed in 20% to 30% of primary breast cancers 7, thus HER2 presents as a useful therapeutic target for the treatment of breast cancers. Trastuzumab has been shown, in both in vitro assays and in animals, to inhibit the proliferation of human tumor cells that overexpress HER2. It works as a mediator of antibody-dependent cellular cytotoxicity, where it binds as an antibody to cells overexpressing HER2, leading to preferential cell death. Trastuzumab was also shown to inhibit angiogenesis of tumor cells in vivo. Higher doses and longer dosing intervals show no significant benefit over standard dose schedules. In patients with HER2 positive solid tumors, Trastuzumab did not exert any clinically significant QTC interval duration. How does Trastuzumab work? Trastuzumab is a recombinant humanized IgG1 monoclonal antibody against the HER2 receptor, a member of the epidermal growth factor receptors, which is a proto-oncogene. Overexpressed in breast tumor cells, HER2 overamplifies the signal provided by other receptors of the HER family by forming heterodimers. The HER2 receptor is a transmembrane tyrosine kinase receptor that consists of an extracellular ligand binding domain, a transmembrane region, and an intracellular or cytoplasmic tyrosine kinase domain. It is activated by the formation of homodomers or heterodimers with other EGFR proteins, 
leading to dimerization and autophosphorylation and or transphosphorylation of specific tyrosine residues in EGFR intracellular domains. Further downstream molecular signaling cascades are activated, such as the RAS-RAF-mitogen-activated protein kinase, MAPK, the phosphoinositide 3 kinase-ACT, and the phospholipase C-gamma, PLC-gamma, slash protein kinase C, PKC, pathways that promote cell growth and survival and cell cycle progression. Half-life. The terminal half-life is approximately 28 days, but may decrease with lower doses at the 10 mg and 500 mg doses, half-lives averaged approximately 1.7 and 12 days, respectively. How to use trastuzumab? Breast cancer. Adjuvant treatment. Indicated for adjuvant treatment of HER2 overexpressing breast cancer. In combination with doxorubicin, cyclophosphamide, and either paclitaxel or dostaxel. Herceptin, ogivri, herzuma, present, trizimera, cangenti. 4 mg per kilogram for over 90 minutes, then. 2 mg per kilogram for over 30 minutes q week during chemotherapy for the first 12 weeks, paclitaxel or dostaxel. One week following the last weekly dose, initiate 6 mL per kilogram for Q3 weeks, infuse over 30 to 90 minutes, administer for a total of 52 weeks, in combination with dostaxel and carboplatin. Herceptin, ogivri, herzuma, ontrizant, trizimera, cangenti. 4 mg per kilogram for over 90 minutes and 2 mg per kilogram for over 30 minutes q week during chemotherapy for the first 18 weeks, dostaxel slash carboplatin. One week following the last weekly dose, initiate 6 mg per kilogram for q3 weeks, infuse over 30 to 90 minutes, administer for a t of 52 weeks. As a single agent following completion of multimodality, anthracycline-based chemotherapy. Herceptin, ogivri, ontrizant, trizimera, cangenti. 8 mg per kilogram for over 90 minutes, then. 6 mg per kilogram as in 4 over 90 minutes, Q3 weeks. Administer for a total of 52 weeks. Extending adjuvant treatment beyond 1 year, not recommended. Metastatic breast cancer. Herceptin, ogivri, herzuma, ontrizant, trizimera, cangenti. Indicated for her to expressing metastatic breast cancer as first-line treatment in combination with paclitaxel or as a single agent for patients who have received one or more chemotherapy regimens for metastatic disease. 4 mg per kilogram for over 90 minutes, then. 2 mg per kilogram for over 30 minutes, eek, continue until disease progression. Gastric cancer. Herceptin, ogivri, ontrizant, trizimera, Cangenti. Indicated, in combination with cisplatin and capecitabine or 5-fluorouracil, for patients with HER2 overexpressing metastatic gastric or gastroesophageal juncturocarcinoma who have not received prior treatment for metastatic disease. 8 mg per kilogram for over 90 minutes, then. 6 mg per kilogram for Q3WK, infuse for over 30 to 90 minutes, continue until disease progression. Are there specific concerns about trastuzumab and pregnancy? In pregnancy, trastuzumab is classed as a category D drug, as it causes embryo-fetal toxicity. Exposure has been known to cause oligohydramnios and oligohydramnio sequence according to the US FDA. That's all the information about trastuzumab we collected. Thanks for listening. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe for the HeInfo channel if you like this video to update more health information.